All right, jumping out of a 10-story building while Shredder flips you off. Whatever. So we're downtown in the Big Apple trying to rescue April O'Neil, and we're on Shredder's tail. It's suddenly daytime, and some dude wants to play some sort of frisbee baseball with a manhole cover. Deflect it back with a swift swing of your nunchucks or your bow staff or what have you, and the man will be instantly killed. I'm sure that'll teach him to keep his manhole covered. <laughs> now prepare yourself to be assaulted by multiple groups of thugs, who all appear three or less at a time each wearing his or her own very counterproductive camouflage. Note that some of the items in the area can be interacted with. For example, an anti-gravity parking meter, and this regular fire plug, which was directly behind the parking meter, implying that you can park in front of a fire hydrant in Manhattan, which you definitely can't. Also, look how HD this black and white TV is. It seems that people in this town love to, firstly, jump out of the sewers, secondly, play frisbee with manhole covers. Uh, I think I ran the wrong route or something, because I was not in the direction he was trying to throw. But I've definitely seen less accurate passes in Tecmo Bowl. Your next encounter will be a group of foot soldiers whose main attack is to throw dynamite. It doesn't seem to be as effective as dynamite would be in real life. And it's certainly not as powerful as the dynamite in Double Dragon. But anyway, just beat them up until they die, and then proceed to the next area. It's really not that complicated. Fortunately for us, this otherwise unidentifiable object is labeled as pizza, and therefore is safe to eat from the elevated sidewalk. Next, an attractive female, who may or may not be Aqualung's sister, skates by, and I would like to point out that you are, in fact, awarded one point for viciously assaulting this defenseless female. But take it from me, that's not the only way to score with Aqualung's sister. <laughs> I'm pretty sure two foot soldiers were supposed to come out of the windows here, but I imagine the first had immense difficulty kicking through the windows covered by bricks. These mustard-colored foot soldiers are supposed to specialize in boomerang throwing. One of them, however, was absent during all of the days of training, and can only punch, which turned out to be a lot more effective anyway. Kill surprise! These foot soldiers were waiting for three days in this paper-thin crevasse between the Pizza Hut sign and the wall. Unfortunately, that was the grand finale of stage gimmicks, because the rest of this level is painfully vanilla until you reach the boss. Except for one more guy who pops out of the sewers! Bebop, the mutant warthog boss of the level, loves to descend from immense heights and land onto cars, particularly this one, which is why it is in such condition. One of the more effective strategies for most of the bosses in this game is to jump and kick them in the kneecaps on your way down. And one of the less effective ways to kill the boss is to furiously mash the B button. One more thing I'd like to point out before my segment's done. When your turtle falls into the sewer, he'll say something comical like, Who put out the lights? And then when you kill the boss, you jump into the sewers. And guess what? The lights are on! It's totally bright, you can see where you're going, you can see what foot soldiers you're killing, and you can even read their name tags before you kill them.